one, one of the things that uh, I've been thinking about, you know, in recent times, you know, I, I'm actually a little bit disappointed that the church hasn't um, worked out a map, you know, as to uh, where to pull all Bible prophecies in the Holy Bible and into which dispensation, you know. For example, like, you know, since uh, Jesus left us, you know, to glory of heaven, you know, we had uh, all, sorts of, all sorts of advances in technology, you know, in the sciences, for example, like, you know, um, in, in the branches of science, science, be it, you know, medicine or, or, or physics, you know, or, uh, and, all, and all these other branches, there has been uh, many uh, leaps and bounds, for example, like in medicine alone, um, it took 20 years to uh, come up with a genome and DNA um, map, you know, uh, now scientists or medical scientists know all of our DNA in the human body and it took 20 years uh, to do all that and for advances in computer science, they were able to work out the last eight percent that was reminded that couldn't be worked out with previous uh, old technology that had to rely on more than computer power to to solve that and, and now you know uh, medical scientists uh, have you know the genome dna um, map if you like of all of our dna and genes but yeah we, we bible scholars have no map in comparison if you like um, we have no map that, that that says okay well this Bible prophecy be belongs in this dispensation, that one belongs into, into that one, and so on, you know? And I I'm a little bit, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, upset, <laughs> if, I, if I can put it that way, uh, because, you know, you know, Jesus left us to glory to the us and years ago, when we haven't got a map, you know, uh, you know, and, and a lot of Bible scholars are in disagreement about Bible prophecies themselves, you know, like, for example, like, take uh, Ezekiel 38, 39. I just debunked that, you know, in my last video or so. And, uh, but yeah, the Bible scholars wouldn't agree to, to what I said in that video about Ezekiel 38, 39. That be, some of them think that belongs in the trip. Other think it belongs, that, that it belongs in the millennial kingdom. No, no way, you know. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I've been thinking about this for quite a while, you know, I've been very disappointed that, you know, through millennia, uh, you know, no Bible scholar has been able, or Bible scholars or as a group, or as a collaboration, if you like, uh, no one has been able to come up with, with a map similar to the Chinomi DNA map, in that we know where we can fit every single Bible prophecy and into which dispensation, you know? And I've been thinking about this, you know, and, I, and I'm very disappointed at this, you know? And look, I thought to myself, okay, so what's the problem here? Okay, so we have a problem with denominations, you know. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, among, amongst Christianity, we have various denominations. We have the Roman Catholics. We have the Pentecost, Pentecostals. Uh, you, you know, you got the Baptists. You, you have the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the uh, Mormons. You have the... Uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, well, we, we, we just have so many Christian denominations, if you like, you know, and it's no wonder that uh, nobody has been able to come up with a map because of the disagreement out there amongst uh, Christian denominations, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, I've been thinking about this, you know, and... Um, I've been praying to God, you know, I've been, I've been thinking, hey God, you know, like someone needs to come up with a map, you know, we need to work this out, we can't just let this go, how, how can we have a map of our DNA, of our human DNA, and yet we have no map as to where we can fit every single Bible prophecy in the Holy Bible, you know, that, 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 that just doesn't add up, that's, that's just not on, you know, so in the last few days, you know, um, I've been thinking about it, you know, and yesterday, I kind of like had enough <laughs> and I said, okay, God, you know, like uh, I'm going to sit here on my living room and, uh, you know, I'm not going to leave this room until we work out a plan of, as to how we can solve this together, you know. I said, God, send me the Holy Spirit to, to find a solution for this, you know, because it, it, I think that it's just ridiculous that we haven't been able to come, to come you know, with, with a map. 
And within about 10 minutes, I managed to work out a solution that I think that, that I can work with. Um, now, what I come up with is that um, if you were to actually, not, not that we are on end times, it's actually a lot easier than ever uh, to work out all the Bible prophecies in the Holy Bible because we are right at the end of the church age and we can actually work backwards, okay? We can work backwards now uh, because the book of Revelation is pretty straightforward. If we, uh, if we all we got to do is this. This is the key to it all. This is uh, my thinking that, you know, the, the Holy Spirit uh, helped help me to, you know, to come up with all the, all the scheme, if you like. Now, what we got to do is throw a very um, detailed timeline with all the dispensations uh, from the law, obviously from the law to the millennial kingdom. Obviously, you know, you got the law, the church age, trip and the millennial kingdom. OK, but even with even within those four dispensations, if we can make a very detailed and very key timeline of all much biblical events, OK, uh, a very detailed one. And then if we can work um, backwards in a process of elimination, in other words, uh, first of all, putting all the Bible prophecies that have already been fulfilled. Okay, now uh, I know that hundreds of Bible prophecies can be fulfilled because I look at the back of my uh, Bible, and even just to the point when Jesus arrived. Okay, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of prophecies uh, were already fulfilled. So it, it wouldn't take too long to do this. You know, like um, I thought to myself, if we can draw a, a, a very uh, detailed timeline with all the dispensations okay and put as much detail in that timeline of key um, biblical moments okay as, as much as possible because then once we got a very detailed timeline and this is very key key uh, then then we can actually uh, grab the Bible and start putting um, Bible prophecies into the correct uh, dispensations and key timelines okay now uh, if we do, if we start uh, working by a process, process, process of elimination, in other words, we can put into the silos in the timeline, or into into the correct dispensations and timeline, like the prophecies that are, have already been fulfilled, the ones that are yet to be fulfilled. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, if we do that, uh, you know, we we can work out. Um, every Bible prophecy into, in, into its correct dispensation now. If you work through a process of elimination, um, it, note that we are on end times, you know, it, it, it's not hard because, uh, you know, although we have, a, a, you know, many Bible prophecies pending, uh, it, it's easy now, you know, it's, it's not too hard at all. Uh, now, this, this, this type of project uh, is not, it, 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 this this type this type of project is for the is for the for the right people. It, it's not it's not just for anybody. It's not for you know. It, this is for the for the for someone who's got a lot of analytical thinking power because um, and, and also this is for uh, you know for someone who has the correct uh, or comes from the correct um, you know denomination. For example, like you know you couldn't ask. To, for someone to do this project, um, someone who is from a, you know, a Roman Catholic background or someone who is a Mormon or someone who is a Pentecostal, you know, that they got all their Bible doctrine, you know, all mixed up, it just wouldn't add up. So th th this project um, can be solved, but it has to be, um, you know, uh, from a Christian, from the correct uh, Christian denomination, like a, probably a Baptist, you know, um, and, uh, you know, someone who's well-centered, someone who's not an extremist either way, someone who, who has a very analytical mind because, you know, when you interpret Bible prophecies, uh, sometimes, sometimes it can be by, you might have to do it by, you know, millimetric precision. What do I mean by this now? For example, like a lot of Bible scholars are still thinking, gee whiz, you know, like, uh, I, wonder what we, I wonder if, so, if uh, some ID trick has been fulfilled. In my view, some ID trick has already been fulfilled. I've done a video on it now. Some ID trick relates either to, um, you know, the, the 1948 uh, war that Israel had or the 1967 Six-Day uh, Arab-Israeli War. It's one of the two, but 
then if, if, if you read the, the King James Bible, and also you've got to use the right Bible for this project as well, which would be the King James Bible. You couldn't use any other Bible in this project except the King James, otherwise you're going to get yourself into a whole heap of trouble. Now, um, now uh, Psalm 83, I believe, although it could be the, the 1948 or the 67 war, I think it's more to do with the 67 war because it alludes more to a country that has already been conquered, as in Israel, you know, uh, won back Israel for themselves. Uh, and he says, in it alludes that, you know, they actually uh, had to protect themselves from, from an invasion. So uh, this is not a thus said the law, but I think it's more the 67 war that Psalm 83 belongs to. And, and you know, when you read the Bible and you've got to make these decisions with millimetric precision. In other words, you've got to read carefully all the words in the Bible with a magnifying glass and you've got to have deep analytical thinking skills. You know, war by war, is it going to be this way or that way? Because it could be a difference of, you know, between 1948 and 1967. You're looking at it roughly about, uh, you know, what, uh, 19 years, something like that. So, um, you know, this is, it's a bit of a difference. So, um, you know, uh, sorry for the noisy background. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's, it's going to take someone who who has a lot of uh, you know elastic analytical uh, thinking skills, you know, and it's going to be someone who comes from the right uh, from the right uh, you know Christian denomination. Like I say, you, you, you wouldn't be able to give this project to a Pentecostal or, or a Roman Catholic, you know. Uh, so uh, you know, it's it, it can be done, uh, perhaps. If there is a, you know, a university, uh, you know, professor in theology, perhaps you could give this to one of your students who wants to get a PhD or a doctoral in theology, and just get into work at the whole Bible, you know. But then again, you know, you got professors, uh, theology professors at universities, and a lot of them have, you know, their, you know, their own opinion on things. There's a lot of uh, scholarly jealousy. There's a lot of scholarly jealousy, okay, and competition. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty tough, you know. It's pretty tough, but um, but uh, you know, uh, this project with the right person, you know, someone who's got excellent analytical skills, someone who comes from the from the right Christian denomination, uh, someone who uh, you know who's not an extremist, you know, someone who it's well balanced, you know, in their approach. Uh, you know, someone who uses the correct Bible, which would be the King James Bible. Uh, you know, uh, under the right conditions, I believe that we can get a map uh, as to where we can fit all the Bible uh, prophecies. Now, um, you know, having said this, you know, um, you know, it's. Uh, you know, it, perhaps it could be re resolved if uh, if this was done as a team, you know. Perhaps you could have someone that, a Bible scholar that knows really well the Bible, because in order to work this year as well, you've got to have uh, an excellent knowledge about the Bible. You've got to rightly divide dispensations. You've got to know history or biblical history. You've got to know, um, uh, you know, uh, Bible uh, historical names. You know, you've got to know a fair bit about, uh, you know, uh, the, the prophets and things like that. So it, it's going to require someone that has a fair bit of uh, biblical knowledge. This, this project wouldn't be for anyone, but even if you have the correct biblical knowledge, then it, it all depends on, you know, it's going to depend on, on, on someone who also has uh, the right mental analytical elasticity to, to be able to, to make those millimetric precision uh, you know analysis on, on Bible prophecies you know because like I give you an example like people a lot of Bible scholars don't know what where to put a secret 38 39 I just done a video to debunk all that so uh, it's gonna stack a very a very special kind of person um, you know with all the qualities that I just mentioned but I, I believe that it can be done uh, it, it could be done quicker uh, you know, if this was to be done as a team, you know, with the right people, with the right people, I mean, 
uh, you know, Bible theologies with the right Bible doctrine, you know, with the right Christian denomination, uh, with the correct Bible as well. We, you got to use the King James only on, on this because otherwise you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble. Um, and, and, you know, people with, you know, a lot of thinking power, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm just a little bit upset, you know, because... Um, you know, we have made so many advances in science, you know, in math. I mean, look, look what, um, you know, Sir Isaac Newton, you know, he, uh, he discovered um, calculus in, in mathematics, you know. Uh, you know, th then we had uh, Albert Einstein, you know, with his law of relativity, you know, and, and him being a, a physicist, you know, he was able to uh, theorize, um, or the mathematics relating to uh, space, out of space, the universe, time, and things like that. So, uh, you know, and like I said before, you know, the, the advances in, in medicine, how, you know, we've got a genome uh, map, you know, but, but yet, you know, since Jesus left to glory, you know, 2,000 years ago, we haven't been able to come up, you know, with a map as to where we can fit all Bible prophecies into which dispensation. And, and I'm really upset about that, you know. Well, wow, okay, this video is already 24 minutes, so um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a little bit upsetting, but uh, it's not impossible. This is the perfect time to do it now because uh, we are at the end of the end times. You know, we are at the end of the church time now, and it's and with a process of, of elimination, we can actually uh, w uh, you know work backwards. You know, and it's a lot easier now to put all the Bible prophecies into uh, into the correct dispensation and timeline. You know. Uh, but like I said, it's going to take either someone, you know, with a, you know, brilliant analytical mind, someone who, who knows the Bible really well from the correct denomination, like I said, uh, that, that, you know, uh, that will be able to, to, to work this out. Um, perhaps in a, team, in a team environment, it will be a lot easier, you know, if you've got a couple of uh, really clever Bible scholars who, you know, who have a lot of analytical thinking skills, you know, it, it'll be done quicker, but... Uh, Aren't, aren't you guys surprised about this? Like um, that we have no map or where we can put Bible prophecies, uh, you know, all, all Bible prophecies into which dispensation. You know, we have a situation today where more than that Bible scholars are struggling where to put a CQ 38, 39, where to put this Isaiah, you know, and there's all this infighting throughout millennia, you know. It's no wonder there's, there's just so many denominations, you know, like oh, we've got so many Bibles, you know, like so you know it's it's unfortunate you know but uh i i believe that it can be can be resolved especially now i think this is the the easiest period in time to resolve the whole bible and, and the key to it is to draw a very uh detailed timeline with all the dispensations and putting as much information as you possibly can a very all the detailed information about all much biblical moments okay and then put all the Bible prophecies that have already been fulfilled and all the other impending ones and put them into your si in, into the silos, you know, in, into the correct dispensations or in the correct timelines, okay? We can do this by a process of eliminations, uh, you know, and, and the ones that we're not too sure about, then we have to analyze them in terms of uh, patterns, in terms of, uh, you know, executions and in terms of marriages. For example, we know that some 90, uh, executes the parable of the fig tree in Matthew 24 verses 32 to 34 and we know that there are many marriages that they with Bible prophecies for example like uh, the covenant of Daniel 9 27 there is a marriage in Isaiah 28 15 you know Isaiah 28 15 says oh and, uh, and, you, and you shall sign a covenant with, with death and hell you know okay Isaiah is talking about a covenant just like Daniel is in 9 27 so we got to look at we got to look at patterns we got to look at executions and we look for a look at marriages and I believe that we can do this now uh, we are in a period of time that we can do this uh, a lot better than than ever before we, we can resolve the whole Bible but it, it will take special people to do it 